Hey dolls, welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. In today's video, I am sharing an oldie but goodie, and it's simply how I style my Sterilite plastic containers. This first one just has some scrapbook paper, nothing new, in the front, and then I spray painted the drawer pulls gold and glued those on there. Now, gluing them on is only a decorative option. If you want to make them functional, please make sure that you use some screws to put them on to your drawers, okay? Now, in the second one, I opted to use a gorgeous um, paper as well. So I went ahead and put that paper in the front and then where the built-in drawer pools are, I covered those with burlap and lace and then I used fabric flowers on the ends to tie it into that space. This, what you see here is a set of containers that I purchased from the container store and they don't come in a set. You do have to buy them individually. I purchased all of them, stacked them on top of each other, and then just opted for some burlap and lace on the inside of this as well. All right. You should still be able to find these. I've had these for about a maybe two years now, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to find them at the container store. For these containers, I used burlap on the outside, lace, some paper flowers, and what you don't see is inside of the design of the lace, I hand glued all of these little bling gems. So when I walk into that particular office, all of the lace tends to like twinkle. It is such a gorgeous effect, but it does take quite some time to do. And then I do like to decorate my canvas bins as well, just to make the whole area look a little bit more cohesive. And this was the project that I was working on that prompted me to say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just film this one. All right. So this Sterilite container is gray. I didn't have to spray paint it. You could if you want to. But I just went in with the normal cardstock paper. This 12 by 12 paper pad was actually from Michaels. I believe it's the Romantic Garden or Romantica Garden paper pad. I love it because it really matches this office that my husband and I are revamping perfectly. Now, the Waverly chalk paint is what I used for the pour, the drawer pulls, excuse me. They're the front mount Hammercraft pull and they are in black, but I didn't want that color. I did go ahead and paint them with one coat of the white waverly chalk paint and i used the sponge because i didn't want it first i didn't want it to be too perfect i wanted it to have somewhat of a distressed and perfectly imperfect look to them and then after i let that one coat of the waverly chalk paint dry that's the little sponge that i use from the dollar tree i have a ton of those they come and handy so many times these are the flowers that I use now I purchased these from my local discount store you can make you some small flowers I have a whole cart that I need to show y'all of how I organize my paper and fabric flowers but I glue them to the front of these drawer pulls where the little screw holes are again if you hot glue them on like I did, it is strictly decorative. It is not a functional purpose. They're going to fall right off <laughs> if you try to pull on them. Um, so this is what the end result looked like. I love how the paper flowers tied into the decorative paper that I use, but they also tone down the white of the drawer pulls. And I absolutely love this. This will actually make a cute little nightstand as well if you wanted to, especially if you're, like, you're in a dorm. I love this so much. So... I hope you all were inspired from this. I feel like I am always organizing and doing something. So I decided to go ahead and share this. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, and until next time, have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.